Posting on social media is about more than beautiful pictures or clever captions. It's about connecting with your audience and solving their pains and problems. That doesn't mean that you go for the hard sell on every post, but it does mean that you need to find a way to talk about your business without necessarily selling your business. So how do you do that? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create categories for your business that will help you to create social media posts, engage with your audience, and sell your products or services without being salesy. Even though there are a million different content calendars out there to download, I never found one that worked for me. That's why I decided to create my own printable version to help me organize my posts and categories. So before we get started in this video, make sure to head to the link below to download my free Instagram bundle. Inside, you will find many goodies to help you grow your profile, including this content calendar. The first thing you need to do when creating content categories is to think about how many times per month you want to post on your social platforms. The key here is to pick a number that you can stay consistent with. If you're just starting out, maybe decide on two to three times a week. Or if you're looking to increase your engagement and reach, maybe you decide to post seven times a week. Once you have that number in your mind, write it down on your worksheet according to each platform that you use. Next, you're going to want to think about all the different areas of your business and decide what you would be okay with talking about on a regular basis. So before you create your categories, try answering these three questions. One, what am I comfortable sharing? For example, if you have a family, do you feel comfortable sharing pictures of your kids on social media? If yes, maybe that's a category you want to have. Two, what am I selling? Literally and emotionally. For example, say you run a hair salon. You are literally selling haircuts, colors, etc. So your services could be a category that you'd want to post about. But what are you selling emotionally? You are selling self-confidence. The way your customer feels when they leave your salon. So what category could you create that would embody that feeling? The third thing you want to answer is, who am I trying to attract? So this goes back to your ideal client. If you are a salon tailoring to millennials, maybe you want to have a category on pop culture, where you reference styles that would attract them as an ideal client. Once you answer these questions, look at your answers and develop a list of categories from there. The number of categories you have will depend on your business but I always recommend having roughly six to 12 different categories. Once you have your categories figured out, make sure you add them to the worksheet that you downloaded below. And then finally, you need to determine how many of each category you will need to create. So for example, if you have six categories and you wanna post 30 times a month, you will need to create five posts in each category. Now that you know what you are basing your content around, it'll be much easier for you to create content. On the first page of the calendar is a blank month that you can start filling out with these different categories. I recommend staying consistent on the days you post, so choose which days you will post and plug in your different categories. So that's it. Easy, right? I would love to know what categories you have created for your business, so comment with them below and if you haven't done so already, make sure you download my free content calendar. For more information on how to plan and schedule your content for social media, make sure you check out this video right here. My goal is to help all business owners take back time in their business and reach their goals by implementing actionable marketing strategies that work. So please share this video on your social media and tag me to let me know what you think. And if you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more weekly videos.